For anyone trying to watch what they eat, Thanksgiving is the mother of all diet busters. In fact, you could easily pack on a full pound's worth of calories before the plates are cleared. So dietitian and personal chef Diane Hendricks has come up with six tips to keep your holiday feasting under control. Great to see you, Diane. You too. Nice to be back. And I love what you said to me during the break. You said, you know, this doesn't have to be a horrible day. It doesn't have to be a day of depriving yourself. Yeah, I'm not the food police, you know. It's a holiday. You should really enjoy yourself. But who wants to work so hard after a meal to, to get the weight off? And it's really a mindset that you have to stay in. So part of that mindset is getting into it the day before and eating certain things. What do you recommend? Well, before you sit down for Thanksgiving dinner, you should at least an hour before have something. You don't want to go to the table completely famished because then you start making really bad food choices. So having something like some fruit or a couple of nuts, this obviously isn't a serving, but a small a small handful of nuts, mm -hmm. some natural peanut butter with some celery sticks, some yogurt or a little salad with vinaigrette, just to get a little something going on in your stomach so you're not completely starving. That's a good move. Also, you say as far as liquids go, it's good to stay hydrated, but you have to watch what you stay hydrated with. Oh, sure. Um, uh, uh, alcoholic beverages, non-alcoholic beverages with sugar pack on a ton of calories. So you want to watch out for lemonades and mm. soda and go for like seltzer with a little, uh, you know, we've heard this before, seltzer sure. with some lemon or lime or some unsweetened iced tea. And again, alcohol can really pack on the calories. I mean, we all like to enjoy and imbibe a little bit, but you really want to watch out. And a cup right here you have, you say that's not the right amount, you need to go with a little less. Well, it's really interesting. This glass, which you would think is a typical glass of wine, is three, maybe four servings. So wow. I just want to show you what a typical, what the standard serving of wine about 100 calories is. And this is about 100 calories of wine right there. More like a shot glass. More like a shot glass. <laughs> and these goblets that we have, I mean, I'm sure that is an eye opener for a lot of people out there, but we're talking 100 calories right there. 100 calories. So this the is other glasses. 100 calories. Okay. So, I mean, that really adds up. And again, you know, you want to enjoy yourself, but, you know, take it easy. If and, you'd rather eat some of those calories than drink I like them to all. I eat my calories. Yeah, yeah me exactly. Too. <laughs> Good. So, the sides. This is a favorite for so many people, but it is one of the major gut bombs. What do you think in terms of portion control here? Well, I think this is really interesting. Um, this is I've never really laid it out like this before, so the way you guys laid it out, I love it. Look okay. at this. This is more than enough for a serving. I mean, this is a quarter of a cup of each of the sides. It look. It, it really, if you think about it all together, it's a cup. So you're trying the stuffing, you're trying the cream spinach, the sweet potatoes, and the mashed potatoes. So um, that, it's really, that's a cup. Go for a cup of the starchy sides. A scoop of each. A scoop of each. Well, you know, my scoop and somebody else's scoop <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. My so scoop think, is overflowing. Exactly. So think in terms of a quarter of a cup of each, but try everything. You don't want to deprive yourself. That's the key. This is a holiday. It's fun. You want to enjoy yourself, but you don't need to overdo it. We have a couple of plates down here yeah. for the ideal place setting. Yeah. And the one on the right is the one that's a no-go. Well, this is a typical, I mean, you've heard your eyes are bigger than your stomach. <laughs> you go up to the buffet or you, you you scoop into the dishes and this is what the typical uh, Thanksgiving dinner plate looks like. And that is a ton of calories. And if you look over here, I mean, this is a substantial amount of food here. Mm -hmm. And we're talking, this is the cup that was over here. Okay. So this is more than enough of the sides. And then you have some steamed or uh, some broccoli and some green beans and some turkey. And that's really more than enough. And we have this plate here to sort of give people a sense for yes. how it should all be portioned out. And if there's any confusion at the table, bring your Blackberry or a tennis ball, yeah, you say. Explain that. Well, I always say how times have <laughs> changed. It used to be the um, portion should be a size of a deck of cards. Well, now we have a Blackberry and everybody's probably got them sitting on the table or underneath <laughs> on their lap. So the size of a Blackberry is a good portion for um, protein. You can even go a little bit higher than that when mm -hmm. you're using the white meat uh, turkey. And a tennis ball is a good idea for the uh, starchy sides. Again, go crazy with the vegetables and have half of your dinner. I thought you were going to say go crazy with the blackberry and just oh, yeah. <laughs> take the away all day. <laughs> we really appreciate it. For yeah. more tips to keep your waistline in check this holiday season, go to our partner in health, webmd.com, and search Healthy Meals. Diane Hendricks, as always, it's so great to have you. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving happy with Thanksgiving your family. Happy Thanksgiving to you.